Dom let a clown on here, okay? A whole clown. Hey guys, for those of you who know and those of you who don't know, my name is Jordan, like Michael, swish. <laughs> and I am secretly slash not secretly taking over um, Dom's channel for my own channel takeover. If you're new here and you've never seen his channel before, welcome. You're gonna have a great time. He's the funniest ever. Make sure you watch all the videos. Um, and like, share, comment subscribe you know all the things that the people say um, I'm no professional by any means I watch a lot of these videos so you would think I'd be a little bit more prepared but honestly the camera's on and I'm like shook okay um, but anyway we're gonna get into it okay <laughs> yeah get into it okay so I have here my primer I'm gonna start with this um, I do it all over my face and my eyes just to let it soak in while I do my eyeshadow. So this is the Hangover, Too Faced Hangover Primer. And it's pretty dope. I use a lot just because I got dry skin. Your girl is praying on a miracle in terms of skincare. So y'all keep praying for me, okay? Um... And while I do this, I actually looked up a couple of questions that I want to answer. Kind of about me and Dom and our friendship and, you know, how we came to be and, and all of that. Um, so I'm just going to do, I think, 10 at the most. I think 10 will cover it while I'm working to get all of this done. Working, working, working day and night. Cute Michael Jackson. <laughs> uh, uh, first thing y'all should know is I'm a little blind so I have a mirror here but then I also got a mirror down here that I can pull a little closer to my face just cuz I was not blessed with 2020 vision it's sad hey. um and so yeah but we make it work we make it work we make it work first question is what is our most embarrassing moment or an embarrassing moment that I've had in front of my best friend. Um, most embarrassing moment that we've had together? Probably, okay, so we're both, we're from different places. I'm from Atlanta and he's from South Carolina. He doesn't know I'm even about to say this, but this happens to me. We'll be like talking or whatever. And you know, I because of our, his accent, being different from mine you know and it's not it's not that big of a deal it's not that big of a difference but sometimes i like not hear the prop like not hear something that he says and then i'll ruin the joke <laughs> that's probably like the oh, somebody's calling me not me but calling you dominique i don't know if you can hear that but um, basically, yeah, I like miss a joke, miss something, and then say it, and then and then be looking crazy. But it's not too bad. He still loves me all the same. Just as I him, we pretty much don't have too many embarrassing moments because honestly, we're laughing all of the time. So even if it is embarrassing, we've made a joke out of it. Um. So yeah. Um, so we're going to use the Jaclyn Hill palette today, the original Jaclyn Hill, along with the Morphe Exchange Charles. I kind of haven't decided on my look. I never do before I get started. I kind of just wing it, like I said, which is a good thing and a bad thing because I would love more preparation with my looks, but then also it's just like, mm, sometimes the best stuff comes unplanned. So, yeah. Uh, what qualities do I love most about him? Well... I would say that he really is one of the most genuine people that I've ever met in my entire life. And um, I am very grateful for our friendship because it came at a time where like, I was still becoming the person that I'm supposed to be in life. And you just go through things and you really need people that you can count on during those times. 
and he was there for me like no other and i'm very very grateful but and also he's like literally i'm not even kidding the funniest person that i've ever met in my entire life like pretty much everything he says i'm hollering and it's like it's a whole problem um, <laughs> and the two of us together a whole ride and us with missy it's ob we screaming we laughing it's over um but yeah and he's good-hearted he, um, he's not out to hurt anyone intentionally ever. Like he, he's just the best and I'm very, very lucky. He's my best friend and let's not, don't be coming for him. Don't, mm -mm, don't do it. Not playing. Um, so I'm just gonna go in with like this uh, brown color from the Jaclyn Hill palette just to give the eyes a little something to start out with. Um, I'm not gonna look at the questions mostly because they're over there and I can't see. Uh, let's talk a little bit about how we met. So, for those of you who didn't know, we went to college together. Good old VSU, and I'm talking about Austin State, not Virginia. And so, you know, it's all about the Blazer Nation. Um, but basically, it was his first day. So, I had been there since my junior year. And he came in, I believe, about January of my sophomore year and his first day there now he was quiet like he, he didn't say a word when he walked in he was just kind of like looking around observing or whatever and the very first thing out of his mouth he goes yes and i just remember i wasn't screaming but i was just like internally like laughing or whatever we all laughed i believe because it was just like like what like where did that even come from and um and from that day he would just say little quips and things um that would just have the class rolling but it still wasn't like his full like personality just all the way out there right so um so we went to this part we got invited to this party it was a d5 party and um i remember i had to go home so i didn't get to go but i remember he told me about it when i got back so i was a little sad about it i really wanted to go because you know i don't know why i just really wanted to go so anyway uh, but I came back and they invited us to another party or whatever. And for this one, we really didn't realize how far we were actually walking. And um, and we both, it was 2.2 2 miles or 2.5 miles that we walked. And we were both just like, where is this thing at? You know? And um, and so we get there and I remember they were, it was a costume party. So it was like, I think it was like a 2000s party and so we had to wear costumes to get in and so I ended up paying five dollars and he ended up paying ten and we were both like that's the last time we ever pay you know but we went in and we had the time of our lives literally it was so crazy but so much fun and um we were just dancing the night away and that's what we do like we literally just go go and dance and I have never had a friend like that where you know we just party like not party in a sense of like trying to get crazy trying to get drunk nothing like that but just like legitimately like we're going to dance to every single song that plays or whatever so that was really cool we literally spent every single day together we carpool help saved the planet okay um and just ultimately like like had a great time every single day and when you spend that kind of time with someone it starts to go from friendship to family like he became a serious brother of mine like just can't live without him just the best ever um so yeah on that um just so y'all know i'm kind of doing like a cranberry orange ish look um i've used the cranberry color in the um, original jacqueline hill palette and then the red in the james charles palette um so yeah um so i still have some questions that i'll try and like tailor to this just to keep you know conversation going or whatever um describe dominique in one word easy hilarious that was quick We'll take a flat brush and in our concealer. This is the Fit Me Concealer in the shade, I forgot. Shade 25, medium. So basically I'm gonna just take it and put it dead on the center of my eyelid and then kind of open my eyes and then that way I know where to be. And then Dom's a little intoxicated because I feel like his funniest material comes out then. You know, I just be because I'm I usually DD because 
Drake is not my thing. Um, and so I get to have a front row seat to all of his shenanigans. So when I had um, my boyfriend at the time, he, uh, he would call him and just basically be clowning on the phone with him or whatever. And it would just be so funny because it's like, you're a whole clown. Yeah. And he would like, he would come get me and then be like, Jordan, we're going to do a pop-up. Come on. Mm-hmm. I know, and I'd be in the front seat like, we don't show up to people's houses unannounced. And he's just like, so? <laughs> Not intoxicated. That's a whole separate oh, no, like, situation or whatever. Funny. But it's so to. funny oh here comes missy 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 something i just told them was that the way dominique says her name he goes missy and it sounds like missy missy the princess is here it's so funny um um so yeah hilarious y'all this always gets worse before it gets better because i'm messing it up right now um Something else to note about our friendship is that if we play in any type of game, it don't matter what it is, it could be charades, it could be cards, we whooping tail, literally. Um, I'm now going in with this orange from this uh, James Charles palette and hoping that I don't make a mess. Um, one time I took this quiz that Dominique had posted on his Snapchat. But, um, guess what i was the only one who got a 10 out of 10 just because and i don't know if that's just me being able to memorize odd facts and you know what people say to me or whatever or if it's just that i know him so well um but i got a 10 out of 10 y'all i could tell you basic things like he wears a size nine or his middle name which i won't say on camera but just know that i know it um or I can tell you, like, what are some of his dreams and aspirations, like, wanting to be able to go to West West Africa to teach dance, well, learn dance there, learn their dance styles, and then teach there. And have, I can tell you that he loves his grandmother with everything in him. I can tell you that his hands are ready to eat for everyone. <laughs> okay, so I'm just getting get this cranberry that. shade and bringing it kind of back because getting a little lost in translation with this orange that is shit popping okay one thing to note is i'm very very proud of dominique just because um i've seen a lot of growth from him in the past since 2020 has started um i tell you 2019 was not an easy year for both of us. Um, we just went through we went through a lot with, you know, people that we never thought we would have to experience that with. And you know, when you, it's really hard when you think you know people and they surprise you in a completely different way that you had no, you had no idea or no way to know that that's kind of where it would go. You know, but um, but he has been my rock, and I I hope that I've been his. Uh, but just even as even stepping out of a best friend role and just looking at how someone literally picked themselves up and and kept going with life and 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 kept going even when it got tough, you know, is like it was very very astounding to see and very inspirational to see especially with me kind of going through you know my own thing or whatever and just um trying to be there for my best friend because you know that boy back there he is like my heart like honestly and to see him go through you know some of the toughest things that life has tried to deal deal him it's like and then to one of the best people that I've ever known, it, it's just like, sometimes you just be like, bro, I will go to war for him, you know? And um, I think I'm gonna put just a hint 
a bunch of y'all in this inner corner. And the Wet n Wild Pro Line Felt Tip Eyeliner. Now this is where things could go wrong just because sometimes I'm a little impatient. I be pulling with it and it just gets a little bit messed up. So I'm gonna try and take my time and, uh, and do this right. It's only because I'm doing this for y'all that that even came out right, because usually it doesn't. I'm shook. Okay, let's do this side. Um, I ain't mad at it. it. It could be better, but I'm not mad. Um, and then I'm going to take the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Got the trial size. I can't wait to re-up and get me a original size bottle, full size bottle. Because this mascara is so good. Um, something crazy had happened in Valdosta to where, um, I forgot I don't need this, to where um, someone had shot at his house. We don't know if it was at him, because it shouldn't have been, but where it, there was basically a flying bullet or whatever. And he calls me and he tells me this, right? And so I'm like at my house freaking out because I'm like, so he tells me that, and so, you know, I have, I have the toughest time, you know, keeping everything together and not freaking out on his behalf. Y'all, I checked Snapchat. This fool has a sleeping bag, a pink sleeping bag wrapped around his shoulders. And he, was it, wait, was it a sleeping bag? It, no, you know what it was? It was a pink um, tablecloth from Dollar Tree. And you know how thin that material is. And... This one has it wrapped around his shoulders. And he goes outside. And I don't know if you guys remember the, the two girls who were on the TV show. Um, um, not the TV show, who were on the news. Who were talking about, well, dang, if if you was going to fight, you should have kept it at that wedding. You don't bring that out to nobody's wedding. And if you can't go to Bella Noches, then where can you go? You know? And he did that as a response to the craziness that has happened at his house. And the thing shots. It's upsetting me in my home, girl, because we feel like, well, damn, if you can't go to bed on no chase, what the hell could you go? This my mom is, he going to take, like, a serious moment and find the funny in it. And I just, I can't. Uh, Y'all, when I tell you I could not, when I tell you I was hollering. So, now I'm just adding a little bit more primer to my nose because it's had time to dry out. Um, and this is where my pores are the large okay so I'm gonna take my Maybelline fit me do dewy plus smooth um, foundation and it's in the shade 315 soft honey and I'm going to apply this um, I recently kind of got into this I really have been wanting a um, dewy foundation for like the longest time and I just happen to take a chance on May Maybelline on some drugstore stuff because I was in a store and I was like why not you know before I go buy some expensive brand and be looking crazy let me just see let me try it out first it's been working for me now my forehead is always a different color than my, the rest of my face and I don't know why it's been like that <laughs> my whole life um, I've always had different colored skin but it's okay because we once we blend it all together and make it make it pop and do what it do then we have no issues and it, it all looks seamless and flawless together okay I'm gonna add just a little bit more and then I'll come right back with concealer. And now I'm going to take my Fit Me Concealer, like I said, in the shade 25. And put that right underneath my eyelids. And just blend it all the way out. I kind of leave it a little unblended. Not unblended, but a little not so as blended in as my... Um, foundation because I kind of still want that brightness under my eye. I'm carrying luggage on this Delta flight. Okay, I did check some bags. So, 
needed to let go and let God do his thing on his face, okay? It really, it looks so good. Like, I am not mad at this. Now, the only thing is I'm a little blind, so what looks blended to me might not look 100% blended to you guys. So I always have to go in and just go a little longer, just a little bit. Perf. And I'm just take a little bit of the shape tape because it gives you that flawless coverage. And just put a little dab there. A little dab there. And blend that out. Now that's my that's my go-to. That was before I was into trying new, new stuff. Just to see. Before I spend my money on expensive stuff. Shape tape was a risk, y'all. When I first got it, I had to take it back. Because I picked up the wrong color. Me looking crazy all right cool and just like that snatched then i'm going to take my makeup revolution luxury baking powder in the shade banana got this little wet and wild um contour makeup stick contour that i just put just a little dab on either side and then up on this forehead to make it just a little smaller and then um, two small lines on my nose And a little trick that I do is I go across the nose because when I add my highlight later, it's going to look like a baby doll effect. So if you're ever wondering where Dom got that from, hello, me. And I got it from somebody else on YouTube who does makeup. I take my bronzer from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Cappuccino. And I have a round uh, fluffy brush and I just take a little. I won't put contour down here anymore. I used to, uh, but now I just do a little bronzer down here. So then that way when I clean it up with my um, baking powder, it just has a nice chiseled effect. Cause I'm a little baby faced, not gonna lie to y'all. Okay. Uh, so then I bring back my setting powder and I tap and slide to clean it up. A tip I got from the Jacqueline Hill. Thanks, Queen. I clean up my forehead, making sure that's buffed out with that contour and that bake. And then I dust off my bake under my eyes. And then while I don't know why my eyelashes have decided today is the day that they want to drop into my eyes, but y'all pray for a sister. Um, so then I'm going to take my buffering brush and the bronzer, just a little bit, and hit these sides again, just to warm it up a little bit. And then going back to clean it up with my buffing brush. And my setting powder, I just hit right on the sides. Because to quote James Charles, having, you know, like you had no surgery. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. All right. I don't let that stay too long. Got to start this big down here. I don't look crazy. I take that orange. And I'm going to put it all right up on that lash line, under that brown. 
Oh, no, wait, hold on. Before I mess this up, let's not use this bright, bright red. Let's use the cranberry red. Before I, before I mess something up, I'll be looking crazy. That same color on it and just clean this out and up. Next, I'm going to take my blush. I feel like I'm a big, uh, big um, fan of Maybelline because their products, I didn't realize how many I grabbed. So this is the Fit Me Maybelline uh, blush in the shade Peach. And I just take that on this angle brush and I just go for it because I love having a nice um, brought back colored face. Like makeup for me, I don't know why. I don't know if anybody else has this problem, but usually not only dries me out but it also makes me extremely pale like in the winter time when I don't get a whole lot of sun um, so next for my highlighter I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty highlighter kilowatt highlighter in the shade Hustla Baby and then I use um, my damp beauty sponge and then I also use this brush um, it's like an eyeshadow brush except I changed it to a highlighting brush because fan brushes have never worked for me unfortunately um, so I put it a little in this spot that I gave myself earlier. And then I put the rest at the top of the bridge of my nose. Yes. Then I take my beauty blender while it's still damp and I tap it into a highlighter. And then I tap my cheek with it. And it gives you more of a like from the inside out glow. Which I love. And then when I feel like it doesn't show up enough, I go back with my brush and I just tap over top and I add a little to my cheeks just to say, hey, what's up, y'all? We glowing, baby. We glowing. Yeah. Tip I got from Dominique, a uh, little gold deposit right on that lip, top of the lip to keep this low. Which mine always gets lost when I do my lipstick, so I don't even know why I still do this, but it's okay. It's the thought that counts. Just tap a little of that excess right upon the highlights of my eyebrows. Alright, cool. Before I go overboard. Now, since I've did done such a fiery kind of look, uh, so then I'm really into a new lip right now i just i can't get over it but i like a brown new lip i don't like the peach look i can't so um this is the revlon color stay um lip liner in the shade sienna this is a dupe for you guessed it a lip liner from maybelline um it's actually i think number 115 from maybelline um they just were out at the store and i was like i need to be able to do my lips so i found a similar color that pretty much does the same thing. Mm, cute. Then I take on um, this lipstick from Maybelline, you guessed it, and it's the shade 650. It's the matte lipstick 650 Nude Embrace. I love it. And I put this right in the middle to start. And then I uh, just take it on up. Grab my lips together, add a little more. Hmm. Cute. Cute, 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 cute. Now you could leave this like this or you can add a gloss. Um, it's a Maybelline lip gloss. It's a collab. I can't read the name, never have been able to, um, but it's basically this. Um, light peach translucent nude um, color before I do that though I'm thinking that I'm gonna add a little bit of a trick that I usually do um, I take whatever eyeshadow that I used on my eyes depending on and I usually have a glitter on so it's usually the glitter that I choose but since I've done orange it's like kind of like the main color 
Let me just take a little bit of orange and just see how it looks. If I hit it, I'll just wipe it off and do it again. But I'm not mad at it at all. And then let's do, it's the third shade in the James Shaw palette. It's a goldy highlight color. Uh, look at that dead center. Mm, cute. Cute, cute, cute. And look at that highlight that was on the top. I'm struggling to bring it because I don't want to mess up. But you just build it up. And then, but it's got more of an orange hue to it this time. Than usual. He's still there. I take my early K on my tent spray and um go ahead. And once I've gotten it to where I'm basically drowned. is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys enjoyed this takeover i had so much fun with you um and i hope that you'll um come back again soon and watch all of dominic's videos because honestly he's the best in the game um and i'm not just saying that because he's my best friend but i'm also saying that because he's my best friend <laughs> um so please Please share this video please like please comment let us know what you want to see on his channel because you never know what could be next your idea could take us to the next level um and uh yeah subscribe uh, if you want to follow me i dance and that's mainly the main thing i do um but it can be found at at joy dance that's j-o-u-r-d-a-n-c-e underscore um, and that's where you can find my dance page and just follow me and come enjoy the journey because we're just out here trying to hustle and trying to have fun just trying to live life so yeah i'm so grateful to dawn for this opportunity and i've had so much fun i will see you guys later bye